Welcome back to All Part Outlaws, guys, and in this video, we bought something, and we're on our way to see if we can load it up, get it back home, and do the work that needs to be done in order to get it off-road worthy, because uh, when you see it, I think you'll agree that it's not necessarily in an off-road worthy state right now, but we're going to see what we can do about addressing that. So let's go ahead and get the trailer hooked up and head on out. Now, seeing as the Tundra is pretty much our daily right now, that's what we're gonna be in. And you can see our gooseneck is just kind of chilling down beside the garage. Now, if you did not watch the last video where we kind of looked around for a brand new house, we did settle on this one. And if you want to see the process that went into that, did not go well. But if you want to see the process that went into that, make sure you go over to the channel and check out our previous Offered Outlaws video to see what actually led us to choosing this house and also see some of the other houses that we looked at. So now we're actually just going to have a quick drive out to town. We're going to make our way down the driveway. I love this gravel driveway that's actually lined with rocks on the outside. So we're going to drive out to town. We're going to drive through town. we got to get on the highway, make a short little drive on the highway, and then after a short highway drive, it should be in kind of one of the subdivision uh, neighborhoods on the other side of town. Now, I haven't really looked at this thing yet. I've just looked at it in pictures, and it looks um, it looks pretty sketchy, not gonna lie. It doesn't really look like it would make it over many obstacles. Well, the front would, but it wouldn't necessarily pull the back end of the truck with it. Let's just say that. Now, it is very, um, it, supposedly it's very loud, and as far as like being very loud, it's like it's very loud without really much performance to back it up either. So hopefully we'll see what we can do with it. And once we get it back out of the garage again, hopefully it's got a lot more capability than it had when it went into the garage. Now that trailer, as you can tell, is extremely light right now because obviously it doesn't really have any load on it, but just a short little highway drive out past the farmland real quick. We should be at the neighborhood real quickly actually. It goes down two lanes here, nice and easy, slow down a little bit, make sure to, whoa, Starting to get a little sketchy there. I don't know what the heck that was all about. But why is my four-wheel drive even on? I don't need it out here. I'm like, I just now realized that my four-wheel drive was on. I was like, uh, you're kind of out on the paved road right now. Four-wheel drive isn't really necessary at the moment. I've got an unloaded trailer and a lifted truck, and I'm running four-wheel drive on the highway. What the heck is wrong with me? All right, this should be our turnoff up here. At least that's what the GPS is telling us. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this right. Sorry about your grass. Go ahead and get stopped right here. Nice and easy. Take right back off again, and it should be up around this corner if the GPS serves me correctly. Now, let's see. We should be seeing something any moment now. Any moment. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Well, I think we've sure got our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, um, I would certainly think that we've got our work cut out for us with this one. So let me see about getting the truck turned around, but I also need to go ahead and talk to the owner and see what kind of deal I can work out with them before we load this thing up, because I don't know if I'm confident paying asking price for that. Well, after a little bit of negotiating, we actually got him down to a price that was pretty agreeable, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in it real quick and make sure that just the basics are there, make sure it runs at the very least, make sure it kind of drives a little bit, and then we'll see what we can do in terms of actually making this somewhat off-road worthy. It's crazy how he didn't even put anything in the back. It's literally got like steel wheels in the back, chrome wheels up front, and it looks like everything in the front suspension is completely maxed out, but nothing is strengthened. I feel like this would immediately snap if you tried to take it off-road. Let's see if it moves. It seems to, barely, but it moves. I mean, it's certainly not being anywhere close to done, but I mean, at the end of the day, it certainly, it certainly is an interesting candidate for an off-road build. So let's go ahead and load it up, get it back to the house, and see what we can actually get done with this truck once we really strengthen it and get some, you know, get some proper parts underneath it. All right, so let's hook the trailer back up to the Tundra. We'll get this guy turned around, and then we'll get that Chevy loaded up. Oh boy. All right, back her up. Easy. I, oh my God, I cannot see where I'm backing up to. Thank you. These backup cameras, they never work. Well, they sometimes work. Not always, but they sometimes work. All right, so now we're gonna have to back you up just close enough to where we can actually swap ourselves over into the other rig. And then, interesting. 
All right, well, either way, either way, let's go ahead and get this guy on the trailer. We should be able to swap. Yep, all right, now we can throw it on the trailer. Yep, and now we can get it attached, and now we'll be on our way back home. Oh, boy. Well, that's certainly a sight on the back of that trailer, isn't it? Jeez. All right, so let's find a place to turn around. I believe this is basically just a circle, so we should be able to make a quick left right here and then head back out the way we came. And then once we head back out of here the way we came, we'll be able to get it back to the house and, you know, wrestle together some parts to see if we can get this thing fixed up. So, easy. And we'll make a left and then a right again, and then we should be able to get back onto the main road that we used to come in here, I think. So that should be, yep, that should be back to the main road. Oh my god, nice and easy. Yeah, we've certainly got a lot more weight on the back now, so it doesn't really handle like it did before. And make sure we don't have any cross traffic. All right, we're good. And now I'm just going to get right back on the, sorry about the fence, bro. I'm going to get back on the highway, and we're going to try and get this guy home as quickly as we can, because I don't really, whoa, I don't really want to lose daylight. And I think that at the end of the day, this shouldn't be too bad of a, of a rebuild. It shouldn't be too bad of a rebuild at all. You know, saving them one squad truck at a time. <laughs> oh my god. Although, it is kind of weird having this on the back of the trailer driving it through town. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Just a bit. Although, you know, in, in consideration of what the original truck looked like, even after we make all of the upgrades and all of the modifications, we're going to leave the color that came with it. I feel like that is one way to have... Oh, God, that doesn't mean a bit. Um, I feel like that's going to be an interesting way to kind of leave at least one part of the original truck is to leave the color. So we're not going to mess with the color at all, and it's just going to stay very, very bright. All right, we're going to take this exit. This is our exit right next to the lodge. And we just got a little bit of a back road drive back to our house. And then once we get back there, we'll be able to get this thing unloaded, get it built up, and she'll be good to go. Oh, boy. Really trying not to snag this thing on any of the guardrails. If you snag the trailer on a guardrail, it's kind of a pain to get loose, for sure. Gonna also have to go fairly wide right here. Oh, boy. I think it went wide enough. Yeah, it went wide enough. Don't worry about it. Now, I do want to get up into my driveway with a little bit of momentum, because if I don't, I might be in a little bit of a sketchy predicament. All right, I think I've got enough momentum. Oh, boy. Come on. I heard it change down a gear. I did not want you to do that. My driveway's a bit steep. Hello. Thank you. My driveway's just a tiny bit steep. Keep in mind, this thing is fully built. This Tundra is fully built, so... I might have to mess with the gearing a little bit if we have that much of an issue getting it home. But regardless, we got it home, and we're going to get it into the garage now. And just so I don't have to drive it very far, um, so as not to break any more drive line components, I'm going to go ahead and face it back towards the garage. See if I can get it turned around to some degree. See? There we go. I'm trying to put it in the left side of the garage. Because if I, if I hit the gas too much, it'll get a little... Oh, jeez. Okay, well, it's... The trailer's kind of freaking out now, so I'll probably go ahead and unload it here. We'll back it into the garage. And that is going to be that. So now that it's in the garage, let's, um, let's get to work and see what we can make of this thing. Well, guys, we've been working on the truck for quite a while now, and we completely swapped out the entire suspension, swapped out the axles, swapped out the wheels, tires, absolutely everything was basically swapped out. We added a bunch more parts to it, and now it's time to show you guys the finished product. So what we ended up doing to this truck is we ended up turning it into a bit of a heavy-duty trophy truck slash adventure style long travel independent suspension build with a live axle in the back with some really long trophy style suspension and let me know in the comments section down below which version you think looks better version one as the truck arrived at the house or version two that you guys see right here now I don't plan on getting rid of this thing anytime soon I 
actually plan on building it out a little bit more and let me know in the comment section down below if you think we should keep the color that it came with i kind of like it it's a little bit different and i think it actually is in a way kind of a nice way to remember what the truck started as but also kind of keep a little bit of that with some off-road capability going forward so if you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below and if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see in the future please do leave those as well in the comments below and if you would like to see more in your feed then make sure to subscribe turn those notifications on and i will see y'all next time talk to you guys later